today's video is a bit different. As you can probably tell, we're sat in front of the Christmas tree. It is a what I got for Christmas video. Um, I do these every year purely for my own reflection. Um, I love going back and watching past videos and remembering what I got and I feel like they are a snapshot of that year um, because it's everything that you've enjoyed that year you ask for and you may have found new brands and new companies and I just I love these videos um, and I especially love watching them around Christmas time so I thought I'd film another one this year for you um, hopefully it won't be too long but I anticipate it will be so grab a drink grab a snack and let's get started I will say I have got some sort of Boxing Day items as well, which um, I may include in this video, I'm not quite sure yet, um, we'll just see as we go along, and um, let's just get into it, I apologise if it goes in and out of focus or anything, um, obviously I don't usually um, film in front of a tree. So I'm just going to be picking random things and let's get started. So the first item was an item I actually picked out, wrapped up, put under the Christmas tree and put it as like a present for me and Darren. Um, and that is this duvet set. This is by DKNY but I got it at HomeSense. Um, I believe it was about 30 to 40 pounds, I can't quite remember. Um, this is a king size duvet set and it comes with obviously um, the duvet cover and two matching pillows. That is what it looks like. Sorry if the lighting's a bit off. I am trying to fill this with just our living room lights. Um, so it's like a purple and pink floral and then the other side is reversible and is stripes. Um, so we wanted, I specifically wanted a new one for spring, summer. I did look this past summer but couldn't find the right one. Um, something that just will add a little bit of colour to our room because it's mostly just grey, so uh, got us that. The next two things, these are actually Darren's, um, but they were alongside my items, so I thought I'd include them anyway. Darren's one of those people that will put his presents away straight away. He'll put them to use straight away um, and likes to put them in their place, whereas me, I like to keep them in my lounge for days and like mull over them and like revisit them. Um, so yeah we're two very different people and what you just heard dropping was one of his presents um these i thought were bigger than they were so i thought i was getting an absolute bargain and then i came and they were quite a lot smaller than i thought and they have these two little frames we loved the film christopher robin we have like a little thing that like he's poo and i'm piglet so i got him these two little prints they've got um the poster of one of the characters and then it comes with um, like a little film strip at the top there and it says Christopher Rowan so that's the poo one that is the piglet one sorry for the reflection um, so we're gonna put these in our downstairs bathroom because it's sort of where we put all our um, Hollywood and like film posters and things like that um, we have a lot of Elvis and I Love Lucy posters from there so this will be going along with that and those I got off Etsy and I'll link the shop down below I'll try and link as much as I can down below obviously if things are presents I might not know where to get them um, so I will do my best the next thing Darren got me and um, this was a complete surprise um, we basically we did end up picking some of our own items out and then obviously surprising each other with a few other items. This was one he surprised me with. He said he got it off Etsy and it's this tin and it says Merry Christmas Sophie. And then inside are five handmade um, bath bombs. Uh, this is by the brand Soul and Soap. Um, and it actually says that it's a Cornish brand. Um, it's soulandsoap.co.uk, but I believe he did get it off Etsy. Um, some really gorgeous scents in here. There's a watermelon, a passion fruit, um, a freesia, pomegranate, and a rose one. So can't wait to use those up because I'm running pretty low now on bath bombs. So that is a nice little treat. The next thing is along with that, this sort of bath and body theme and that is a massive snow fairy um i did put this on my wish list and my mother-in-law got this for me i didn't realize she would get the biggest one they have this is the one kilogram one which 
seems extortionately expensive for shower gel but I love this and this will probably last us if we used it every day it probably last us maybe about three months I would say if like me and Darren use it I had like a small medium sized one um, a couple of years back and I was like, the only one using it every day and it lasted months so this all lasts a very long time if you don't know the snow fairy scent it's just super sweet like cotton candy it's gorgeous I've not actually even smelled this this year um, but it just I asked for it every year for Christmas it's the epitome of like a Christmas scent for me and um, can't wait to start using that and I went into Lush today um, I tried to brave some of the sales and they were pretty much sold out of all their Christmas stuff um, I don't think they ever put their Christmas sale online um, but I went in today and like it's two, how many days after Christmas two days three three days after Christmas and everything was pretty much gone except for some of the solid conditioners so um this is probably sold out by now. Okay, so let's move on to some items my mum got me. Um, I had put on my list a few Kath Kidson items. Um, I love their pyjama bottoms. I've got a, quite a few pairs now. Um, they are quite expensive. They have gone up in price. Um, if you can catch any in the sale, definitely worth it. Um, obviously, a lot of them are going to be in the sale now. Um, but I asked for these alpaca ones. These are like the brushed um, cotton, like flannel type ones. Really, really soft. And it's got all these um, alpacas on this grey, purpley background. Um, they were originally £28. Um, I go for an extra small because I feel like they run slightly big. Um, and I mean, they're stretchy anyway, but they've probably gone down at least maybe half price or something or they will do at some point um so i've got those the other sort of matching item i got to that was the mug and i've forgotten i'd asked for this really um again this is probably an item that has gone in the sale and i just think it's really cute it's a nice size not too big um sometimes i find if i make a hot chocolate in a big mug you never end up finishing it so got that one and then the other item is actually got some of, I used it today for the first time it's this cotton um, like reusable bag like tote bag um, doesn't have a zip or anything does have like an open pocket type thing um, and that was the other thing I asked for for my mother so the next item was something that was a surprise for my mum and it was this necklace from Next. Um, she got both me and my cousin one of these and I knew my cousin was getting it but I didn't know she had got one for me and um, I was really quite pleased when I saw it because it is super cute. Um, and basically it is this little paw print necklace so I'll show you the card first. It says best friends are ones with paws and I love my two dogs. Um, they've made appearances on a couple of videos if you don't follow me on instagram follow there because i post dog photos i also have an instagram account for my dogs um we have a yorkie and a westie and their instagram is at rat and foz um if i remember i will link it down below um so this is a necklace it's super small and dainty i don't know if you're gonna be able to see I'm trying not to um trying to get it in frame without the shadow there, I hope you can see that. So it's just a really small little necklace, really, really cute. Um, I wore it Christmas Day and I love it. I don't have too much very dainty jewellery and that's what I really like at the moment is those simpler pieces. So next I want to show you three books. Two of them are from, no, all of these are from Darren, I believe. Uh, so these first two I bought myself and then told him to wrap them up. Um, I got these both at home since the first one is fictionally fabulous um, this usually retails for $11.99 and I got it for $3.99 um, I purely got it because there is a section on Lucille Ball as Lucy Ricardo and I love her style so it's just got loads of iconic women and how their fashion maybe has impacted our fashion today so got that one and then the other one I got is completely me, and it is The Art of Stripes. Um, again, this retails usually for $9.99, and I got it for $5.99. Um, and it has loads of things on how to style stripes, and just some really gorgeous illustrations. So um, I will enjoy flicking through that. So this book is 
Raw. I had to try and figure out what it said then. Raw by Cecilia Hearn. She did the P.S. I Love You um, books and subsequently the film. Um, but this is a book that it says 30 women, 30 stories. And I believe it is just a lot of stories um, by women. That's sort of all I really know. Um, so that will be an interesting read and I like her writing so... Um, like I said, interesting one to have a flick through and something different from what she normally does. Next few items are going to be too hard to show you um, and probably not going to be very interesting to the majority of you. Um, this was my dad's contribution for our presents. He got us both um, these towels. They are claret and blue. They're West Ham related and they say long live the bowling. And you can't really see but if you know um, even a little bit about West Ham um, then uh, the bowling ground was our old uh, football ground Upton Park and um, it still holds a very dear place in people's hearts rather than the Olympic Stadium and um, there is the long live the bowling sort of fan group and my dad got us towels uh, that say that so we will be wrapping those proudly next time we're on holiday the next three things are possibly my favorite items and again I bought them for myself um, Darren did say when they come back in stock buy them and wrap them up and put them under the tree so that's what I did uh, first item is the item I'm wearing so it is this jumper it is from the shop always more if you follow any of my social media you know that I really support the um, movement of always more um, it was created by Audrey Roloff and it it's based on a Bible verse but it means a lot of things to a lot of different people um, it's sort of always believe in the more that is within you um, but like I said it it means a lot of different things to different people definitely worth um, looking up the tag on Instagram um, and uh, seeing uh, what it's all about really uh, for me it's sort of there's always more that I can give always more that the world can give and it also has I mean to me I used the always more um, wording in our wedding vows and um like there's always more that i can give to my husband and more i can do for him that sort of thing just in a little summary so i've been lusting after this sweatshirt for ages this is the jean blue or jean denim blue uh sweatshirt super cozy i got a small and so it's nice and like relaxed i do roll up the sleeves but i love that look um it is super soft they do quite a few different colours but I love this sort of um, dusty, not periwinkle but just like a dusty sky blue with always more embroidered on the middle and then I got this bag which says always believe in the more that's within you uh, so that's just a simple little tote bag but I thought it was cute and um, another way to support the company and then the other thing I got was this t-shirt again I got a small I haven't actually tried this on yet um, this is in the grey colour so you can sort of see it is sort of like almost got a blue hue to it um, and it's got always more on the pocket and it actually says always believe in the more that is within you on there with Audrey's handle um, so yes again looks like it's going to be more of a relaxed fit which will be nice her shop is all about cozy items and just love it so definitely worth checking that out should we move on to handbags yes i got two handbags for christmas and um they're both striped and i both asked for them um i really couldn't decide and i love them both and i think they're gonna have totally different purposes the first one is from fossil uh, my parents got me this one so it's got a uh, brown leather flap um, with black accent and then obviously the black and white strap stripe. Um, this is like a cotton material. Um, it is slightly treated. I don't think it would be completely waterproof but it's not like thick. It's like quite a thick cottony material. It's hard to explain. Um, and this was originally £99, probably gone in the sale. So this is what it looks like. It's like a small to medium size. You've got a um, compartment on the back. And then if you open it up, it's got a zip 
at the top which I like as well extra security and another sort of grab and go pouch and then on the inside it has a zip pocket on the back and then it has uh, two other slip pockets on the side so I feel you'll be able to fit quite a bit in here and I thought it's quite a nice sort of little dressy bag actually and I might use this to go out I'm going out to Prezzo's tonight so um, I might take this out with me I wanted to film this video before I used anything um, how silly is that and then the other bag I got is from Kath Kidson still got the plastic on it uh, this I feel is more of a relaxed everyday stripey bag um, if you will it's that treated um, almost oil cloth uh, fabric so it's got a slip pocket on the front which runs all the way to the bottom of the bag and then you have the main compartment it does come with a crossbody strap um, and on the inside again it's quite nice and spacious and roomy so got that so the next thing was another item from Darren and again an item I picked up from HomeSense uh, it is by the brand Marla I can't remember if I showed this in a previous haul at some point and it was like I'm gonna put it back for Christmas um, but that is what I did and it is this set of two leather pouches so you've got um, they're in this like really dark purple there's a little coin purse with a raccoon on it and then a sort of larger pouch with a raccoon and it's little baby and some mushrooms and this was originally $34.99 and I got it for $14.99 so bargain and I was quite pleased with that this next thing Darren got me and this is a candle again he said he got it off Etsy and this is um, by the brand the nomad society it's a soy wax candle and this is in the scent number one banana pancakes it does smell of like very sweet like bananas and like baked goods I wouldn't 100% say I think of banana pancakes but like I said it's that very sweet bakery scent and um, that is gonna last quite a while so that will be a nice one to burn the next thing he got me was this um from quirky gift library again i think it was another etsy find and it is this pair of pink socks i uh, to me they look hand knitted um i don't know if they are or not but just these simple little pink socks that i can just wear around the house like um little bed socks so got those There's a lot of chocolate in here which i'm not going to include but i kind of love chocolate oh i should grab my secret santa gift as well from um my work colleagues because um i very much was pleased with that as well so we're moving on to sort of more of the stuff that my mother-in-law got me um so she got me this little tray that says bits and bobs darren has like a matching one as well for his side of the bed um i think i will put this on my bedside table and put like my glasses and my jewelry in it at night because at the moment i just put it on the side um so that is a nice little addition she also got me this, which is a signed copy of Leanne Moriarty's new book. This is Nine Perfect Strangers. Uh, very excited to get to reading this because I love Leanne Moriarty. Um, there's her signature. Um, I believe this was able to be purchased off Waterstones, um, but don't know if they're still doing signed copies. But this thing, um, Darren got me. Again, another little Etsy find. He has very much been on the shopping small side of things. And it is this little uh, craft pouch. Um, so it's got a little spindle of wool and on the back it's got a little blue button. And when you open it, it's like a full on little sewing kit. And so much of this is really handy for my knitting. You've got all sorts, you've got safety pins, tape measures, scissors, um, you've got some um, thread, just all sorts. And it's just nice and contained. And I thought that was a really thoughtful gift um, from him. The next thing my mother-in-law got me and it is this figurine. It is a Gymshore showcase figurine. I saw this first. It actually went into the outlets in Florida and um, I it was out where my parents were out there and I asked, you know, if you end up going to the outlets, can you have a look for me? They couldn't find it. I think it sold out really quickly. So I absolutely had fallen in love with it. So I went on the hunt online and asked my mother-in-law because she wanted some ideas and um, she ended up getting it for me 
and apparently the first one that came was broken and they had to replace it so um yes let's get this out very gently um but this is what it looks like it is the winnie and pooh uh winnie the pooh and piglet should i say um i believe it's called the wintry scene wintry walk figurine and how cute is that i just love the style of it and oh, it's very very cute um so i'm going to put that up somewhere for now i think i shall put it there how cute is that and um you can see i have the little disney figurine back there for christmas um so on to the final two gifts i believe everything i want to run and grab one more thing and then i think i will show you the boxing day stuff just making this one big call might as well um so the first item i've just undone the bow which was silly came in this gorgeous little joe malone bag this is from my brother-in-law how i just love the joe malone christmas gifting um i mean it's lovely gifting all year round but at christmas just second to none and i think i don't remember seeing this christmas like packaging last year so they've really stepped up their game and um even like the boxes are gorgeous so it came in this box again with the gold bow i tried to preserve it as best as i could Darren also got some Joe Malone stuff for Christmas. Uh, he got a shower gel in the English Pear and Freesia and he got a cologne. Um, I think it's like Velvet Rose or Velvet and Oud. Something like that. It's a manly scent anyway. Um, and that was his sort of main present from my parents. Um, so this I got from his brother-in-law. This is the Lime Basil and Mandarin Hand Wash. I will probably put this down in our downstairs bathroom as a guest one. That way it's preserved for as long as it can be. Hello Darren! Hi. I'm just trying to finish the end of my video. Oh, you did a video, are you? I am! Say hi! Hi guys! So Darren's on his way home so I need to hurry on through this. So. Again, another bag. This one, this time was from my mother-in-law. This was completely um, a surprise to me. Um, she went totally over the top um, and it came in this gorgeous little black box. I feel like I wanna keep this, it's so pretty. And I can already smell what's in it and it is gorgeous. This is the Jerry Malone candle. This is in the English Pear and Freesia scent, which is my favourite scent. It's my wedding scent. Um, I absolutely love it. And look how gorgeous. I don't know if you're going to see this, like, like an engraving on it. Really, really pretty. Um, and it also comes with Jo Malone matches. How cool is that? So I'll probably save this for a special occasion um, or when we're really fancying a decadent candle but i can already tell it's gonna have a great scent power because i can smell it with the lid on so that is all that i got for christmas i will move on to boxing day now um i will grab that other item and then we'll come back to you so i apologize if i'm sitting funny but i'm getting really bad pins and needles now so we'll move on to boxing day sales i did a little bit of online shopping and then i braved the shops today and this is what i've come away with there's a few things i've ordered that haven't come yet um, one of them actually got sent to my mum's by accident. So I will try and insert pictures of what those are. I got a t-shirt from Next. I had had my eye on it for a while. It's like a grey, just a grey basic top, but it's got a gorgeous like silver thread through it. And that was on sale, I think from like £15 down to £7. So I got that. Um, I saw a dress in the sale today in the shops, which I actually went online and bought. Um, I'll pop in a picture um or up here wherever it is and it's from fat face and i believe it was 60 down to 30 i want to say and it's this gorgeous like knit ferrule dress with like a green color around the top and then i also got a brown belt to go with it that was 15 pounds in the sale um so i got that but now to what I've got to show you. The first thing is from Kipling. I ordered this a couple days before Christmas and it actually came just before Christmas. So it was like 
Christmas treat to myself as if I've not been treated enough and this is the um, Sinala um, handbag from Kipling this was their today special value a couple of weeks ago it's now gone up to full price it's now 99 pounds which I think is a lot for just like a normal size handbag um, from Kipling anyway um, but I got it I think for about 60 pounds and I did have to wait I didn't get it the first round and then they came back in stock um, and this is the grey colour and it is a gorgeous grey with this sort of weave detail and then this gorgeous rose gold thread going through it um, all around the strap and the button and all the hardware is rose gold um, comes with a long strap it almost looks like a bowling bag style um, comes with the pom-pom monkey in um, this is the one called Chloe and I love it I'm so glad that I got it I think it's gonna be a really good bag um, we're going to London in February for Darren's birthday and I think it'll be a great bag to take with me when I want to put my, my camera and extra bits in so got that one so today I went into the body shop and I tell you what it was crazy in the shops um, but I did come out with a few items um, these shower gels I believe were originally let's have a look doesn't say I think they were like originally five or seven pounds and they were down to two pound fifty each so I got uh, the berry bonbon shower gel and the vanilla marshmallow shower gel we really like the um, Body Shop shower gels and we got quite a few before Christmas in the Black Friday sales as well um, and I thought that was a really good buy. Um, obviously not cheap shower gel but I find it does last us quite a lot while and I find the scent really lingers which I love. And then I also got these two hand creams. Again, they were reduced down to £2.50. Um, these are going to be great for work. Um, so I got the Berry Bonbon and Vanilla Marshmallow. I wasn't a big fan of the mint scent, so I didn't bother with that one. And then they had a sale on their 750ml shower gels. So this is originally £15 and I got it for £10. And this lasts us ages as well. So we are fully stocked up for maybe up until March, I'd say. So got that into Hollister and it was ridiculously crazy, but I got this um, really soft like flannel shirt. Um, it's like that lumberjack style and it's just so soft. I was, saw a couple of different other ones in other shops as I was going around and none of them was as nearly as soft as this one. So these are originally £30 um, and I didn't actually think it was in the sale, um, but the queue was so long and once I was in there I was like, I'm just gonna buy it because it's ridiculous um but it's this red and blue check shirt and um it actually came out i think at 14 pound 50 which i thought was a really um nice price for that and so so soft i cannot stress that enough then i did make another sneaky purchase um to collect at jewels in store i was really hoping it was going to come today because i did not want to face it on the weekend um, the first item I got were these socks so this is the Westy that will feature on that mug um, and these um, I believe were 3 dollars in the sale oh, sorry my feet are really hurting um, and just super cute it looks exactly like our Westy I mean that looks like a girl Westy but I think it looks like him um, so got those very pleased with that and originally they're $6.95 so I got those and then I got another thing which I ended up buying again today. So I bought these pyjama bottoms in a size 8 and when I went into the shop they had them in a size 6 and I was like I am going to try those on, see what they're like and I think I will keep the 6 and give my mum the 8. I think they run quite a bit bigger these and they're stretchy anyway but they are these navy thin um, cotton pyjamas with Westies on them and not just Westies. They have, can I find one, Christmas Westies. Um, so these were reduced down to £19, um, 19 95 from 29 95 I will wear these all year long. I'm not fussed that they've got Santa hats on them. Um, but yes, I feel like me and my mum should have matching Westie pyjamas. And the final thing I bought, I think that was it, yeah. 
uh, was this top. I really had to search back through my Jules orders and make sure I didn't already have this top. I don't, I have this in the tunic style, but I love stripes and I couldn't say no. This again reduced down to 19.95 from 30 pounds and it is um, the navy blue stripe jumper with the rose gold stars. Like I said, I've got this in like the tunic dress style, but I wanted it in the jumper as well. So that is every, so it is the next day and we have been shopping today. Darren planned an unexpected trip to Gelmorph Keys. Well, we just decided to go. Um, and I thought I'd show you what we got. Darren is in the room, so if you hear rustling, well, that is him. Oh, it doesn't turn that far. Oh, oh, there he is. So I will start with what we got on our trip and then there's a couple extra little bits that came in the post today that I thought I'd show you. So firstly, went into Kath Kidson, because you have to when you go there. And surprisingly, it wasn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, what did you think, Dad? Do you think it was busy? No. I've been there when it was busier, so that was a pleasant yeah, surprise. It was, busy when, it was we busy when we left. We got there sort of around like 11ish and probably had lunch and then left at like one and it was getting really busy. So uh, we got this luggage tag. It was originally six pounds and we got it for two pounds. So that was a good bargain. I feel like when you go to Gumworth Keys, it's an outlet place anyway. So you're never quite sure what is like extra boxing day sales and what's just what they have normally so um and i also got this shirt um it's like a cotton sort of almost like a linen type fabric with this blue embroidery and it was originally 45 pounds and got it for 30. Mayan. huh mayan yeah i know what you mean it's that sort of like mexican greek mm. like embroidery so got that and we'll have to be put away for summertime probably then went into jewels what a surprise and found this dress i think this must be like an older style because i've not seen it recently on the website at all um this was originally 45 pounds and i got it for 32 and it is this dress it's gonna be hard to show you but it's quite like a thick uh cotton um it's navy with silver stars and um, it's really nice it's got pockets and it's just a very flattering shape and it's going to be nice for the winter it's a bit of a thicker sort of um, cotton jersey material uh, we went into fossil and got two items uh, this is what Darren got which I think is very like Louis Vuitton looking um, and he got this wash bag and where's the receipt so it was originally um 29 well it was originally 45 if you bought it normally the outlet price was 29 pounds and then you got an additional 40 percent off um so it came down to 17 pound 40 which is pretty good for quite a large sized toiletry bag with leather on it so he got that and then i was umming and ahhing about this and then when we found out the price i was like i think i'm gonna have to go home with that and if you saw um like my birthday haul vlog like hauls around that time i've got the smaller version of this bag um like a little crossbody bag and it is this bag i have the um same version as this in the dark brown which i use quite a lot um so i knew i'd like this style and it's basically um black leather but then it's got this cotton um like really shiny silver thread going through it and it comes with a crossbody handle um like i said i know i'm gonna like the style um so that's why i got it so originally they retailed for 149 pounds um the outlet price was 96 pounds and then you got the additional 40 percent off so that was uh came down to 57 pounds so absolute bargain if you ask me so that was my little cheeky purchase and definitely need to lay off the handbags for a while now. Um, 
We went into Marks and Spencers on the way home and I did get some under and stuff. Darren got some jogging bottoms and um, the only thing I really felt comfortable showing you was this top that I got. It's like a thermal, um, quite a thin top. It's long sleeved. I had one of these that I bought maybe four or five years ago. I still have it um, and it's held up pretty well and um, just nice to throw around the house. It's a grey um, top with this silver stripe thread through it. Um, like I said, it is a thermal top. Um, they're originally £16 and I got it for £10.50. Um, it was quite lucky, really, that I found that because it was just, like, thrown onto a... Um, it had clearly been, like, opened and, yeah, got that. And then the last two things I want to show you, one was what I ordered and I said I mentioned in the, like, previous bit was this mug from... Originally from Jules, but I got it from some third-party website. Um... Let's get it out. Darren's like, you do not need another mug. But it looks like Oscar. So this is what it looks like. Um, I will link the website down below. I've also seen it in Haskins. So it's probably maybe last year's style. Um, and they usually retail for 9 95 And I think I paid like £4 for it. So that is that and i also mentioned i was going to show you my secret santa present and then i never did and basically um i got this and some chocolates and it is this little nurse's watch and it's got little paw prints all over it so i wear that on my uniform at work um because my other one was getting like all the pattern was wearing off so they probably thought i needed a new one and yes i think that is all that i've got to show you like I said, there's the, the top that was sent to my mum's by accident. Um, so, still waiting on that. Anything you want to say about Christmas? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There he is. There he is. There he is. And I'll see you next year when we're on holiday. Back to me in the past. Super, super grateful. I mean, it goes without saying. Um that I'm so thrilled with everything that I got this year and so thankful to everyone that gave me presents and it was just lovely just to spend the time with my family. It was our first Christmas, actually having Christmas day here because um, usually we spend it at my parents and we made a turkey and the two dogs came round and it was lovely. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've got to show you today. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever else you celebrate. Um, I just hope you had a really nice festive period, enjoyed the time off, and uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.